All right, this damn thing says I'm live. Start checking in when y'all get in, if you would. I would be more than appreciative and ever so damn grateful if you did. Alan Michael Canner, what's up, man? What's good? Josh Carr, how about it? Y'all just sit tight. We're going to do some fact checking today. On Life Buck, what's good, man? You definitely going to be tuned in on this one. Oh, yeah. Going to make this one happen real quick. Uh, Zero Cruel, what's good? What's good? Kip Drippers, how about it? I just noticed something. My damn chair. My office chair ain't got no locks on the damn wheels. I just roll around in this bitch all day. How about it, man? How about it? Lewis Jones, what's good? What's good? And we got to do some fact checking real quick. You know, it's uh, something's been going down. And, man, I'm a firm believer in, like, just stay out of the, the drama. This is not about drama. This is just about numbers, facts. You know, when it comes to numbers, something about me, that I just I look at numbers differently, man, whether it be a number, a serial number on a dollar bill, a license plate number, a statistic, a stat. Numbers have always been that way with me. They, they stand out. I notice combinations of numbers and such. And hence why I went into the automated automation industry, you know, a lot of binary codes and so forth. You know, that's like this second nature to me. And it's uh, so when somebody starts spitting numbers out, it's something that I do in my head. Like, hey, you know what? I'm going to check that real quick. I'm going to look at that real quick. I'm going to look at that real quick. Um. Uh, Right now in the U.S., man, we're in a full-blown war. It's a hell of an issue right now. Everybody knows about it. We're not going to sit there and dwell on that fact. What we are going to dwell about, though, is those individuals in this community and industry that have platforms that are not those, uh, the helpful type. You know, they don't want to come in and offer, they're, they're the, uh, I told you so's, I told you so's, I told you so's. Man, fuck telling me so. You know what I mean? You don't, that's not, that That shows the true character of somebody. You know, if, even if you, I don't like you and I tell you, hey, look, man, I want to go down that road, dude. There's like 10 dudes at the end of that road going to beat the shit out of you when you get there. And you're like, oh, no, I got it. They ain't, they ain't, man, them people good, them people good. You walk down that road and 10 dudes beat the shit out of you and you come back by me. I'm not going to be one that says, I told you so. I told you so. I told you so. What does that accomplish? You know, this makes me as big a coward as the 10 dudes that jumped on you. It's not one of those things that I've ever been in that situation where I sit back and like, I told you so. I told you so. I told you so. No, it's not about telling the soul or telling others so. You know, and you got to really watch people when they do things. Because how about Vape Girl 83, Circumstance, what's good? Atomizer, what's good? Jim Spain, my brother from another mother out in Opelika. Thank you for tuning in. There's 37 of you in here right now. I'm hoping some more people get in here because... This is something that's got me a little bit, a little bit sideways today. Uh, and I don't ever really get sideways. Like where I feel like I need to address something or speak on something. It's not something I typically do. Dakota Simmon profile. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Vaping minor on life book. What's good? What's good? But we have individuals in our community, in our industry, that want to be those, I know how to do it. I know the solution to the problem. Uh, if you had to listen to me, this would never happen. Well, yeah, talk is cheap, motherfucker. You can't sit back and just say, well, I know how to do it. Well, if you know how to do it, then proof is in the pudding. Get to it. Don't talk about it. Be about it. All right? I want to go over some numbers with you guys, and I just want to state some facts here that have been brought to my attention. And I'm just going to go over general numbers with you guys and let you guys know, all right? So, so you guys can have an understanding, a little bit of the magnitude of the way things go. Uh, 
pulling up some bookmarks right now. All right, so uh, where are we at? Mm, pull it back up. Mm. Just for the record, globally, this is global factual numbers right here, all right? This ain't no bullshit. This ain't no just pull it out of my ass and inflate a number. This is factual numbers right here, all right? 41 million vapors worldwide. That's in the entire fucking world, 41 million vapors. So can somebody tell me if there's 41 million vapors worldwide, how does one country have 42 million vapors? Does that mean the United States don't vape? Does that mean that Canada don't vape? Does that mean that Africa don't vape? Does that mean that Southern Australia don't vape? Does that mean that the Philippines don't vape? Does that mean the Middle East doesn't vape? Can somebody tell me that? I'm just curious. If somebody can crunch numbers, if you got a calculator beside you, if you have 41 million vapors total worldwide, how the hell does one country have 42 million? Anybody? I'm, I'll sit back and wait. Newsflash. There ain't 42 million vapors in one damn country. That's a lie. Or an exaggerated number. Just pulled out of your ass or pulled out of wherever. That's an exaggerated number. Zero Crow says, uh, 42 is greater than 41 defies laws of math. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't happen, guys. That's 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 incorrect. And the, the moral of the story is it's okay to try to help, but don't try to help with fictitious numbers and just numbers pulled out of your ass. Yeah, Jim, trust me, I understand India is in a bad way right now. I, I hate it for them. I hate that their country is going through this. But don't take the facts and then alter the facts to make it look bigger than it is. It, it's devastating the numbers already. You don't have to make it from X amount of vapors to 42 million vapors in one damn country. That doesn't happen. All right. And uh, for the record, you can go back and you can search that the, let me pull it up because I bookmarked it as well. Uh, the interjection of money by the, the feds into the banking industry of the United States. Yep. There it happened. You know, it did. Uh, but it wasn't a, like a continuation deal. You know, we had the, the feds offered 75 point, 75 billion. The banks asked for 80.5 billion, 5 billion more than what they offered. If we were to enter, if the feds had to interject $200 billion into the, to the, to the banks, Guys, we'd wake up in the Great Depression. Like we would tomorrow, if the if last night the the Feds put two hundred billion dollars into the United States banking systems, we'd wake up in the Great Depression. That's billion with a B, two hundred billion. That's very good. I'm glad he corrected himself. Uh, did he put a big video out correcting himself as well? The thing is, guys, we don't need the I told you so's, I told you so's, I told you so's, I told you so's. That's not this is not the time for that. This is the time right now where we come out and we 
unite as one to say, oh, you know what? We're going to make this a, a united front regardless who you like, who you dislike, what you like, what you don't. It's not about shining light on any one individual or casting shade on any one individual. That's not my nature. That's, I don't want to do that. But I don't want people to sit back and instill fear into our community. You know, it's it's no different than the big news media putting in big, bold letters at the bottom what's causing all these illnesses and it's associated to vaping and then retracting the story later. You know what's more impactful? The initial headline. The retraction doesn't get as much track, as much attention as the initial headline did. Even if the major news story retracted it or edited or whatever the may, may be, that never gets as much attention as the initial headline does. For any of us to sit back and say we know one solution to anything or we have the we have the answers to this whole debacle that's going on right now would be an incorrect statement. Nobody has the one answer. No one individual has the key, the formula, or anything about it to make this go as it needs to be. I, I firmly believe that. Because if that was the case, it would already been done. Why? For the benefit of the entire community. You know, that would be like having the cure to cancer and not giving it to anybody because, well, I ain't been given the notoriety that I want yet. So I'm not going to give that, no, that, that, that answer out yet. I'm going to sit back and watch more people die of cancer and then I'll give it out. No, it's not the way that works, man. When it's a community at hand, you got to be right with it. You know, you, you, you have to be right with it. You can't just, Spew it out there, just spew it out there. It doesn't work that way. It, it, that's not how, how it moves, man. Because, like I said, the retractions, I'm reading a comment. Hold on. Hell's vague. Uh, hell, no, there's no solution to compromise for this to go away. Yes, retractions are usually blurred. Retractions and updates on the original news post once it's been published and read. Updates also do not show up on the timeline of the article. That that's that's a hell of a thing, you know. That's it's that's it's bothersome, guys, because why do you what what purpose is done in that to to say you have a solution and or you you've known the, the way all along. If they'd have just followed and paid attention, they, they would have never been in this, or they're not going to be in it. To lay anything out in Arn right now and say stamp your name on it, say that's the way it's going to be, would be a foolish move, a fool's move. You know, I don't know how it's going to turn out. I can't tell you guys that it's going to be great. Yes, Sebastian said once the article's out about a dude to put 18650 in his pocket, a lot of people commented how stupid it was to do that. But just like you said, damage is done. Exactly. You know, or do you retract the whole video? Do you take the whole video down? Or do you just say, you know what, now I'm going to go back and edit that. The other day, perfect example, because I'm not perfect either, guys. I make mistakes all the time. Hell, I was doing the video on this uh, rattle right here. And I had shot the video... And I just overlooked in the owner's manual the little part where you unscrew the airflow control in order to show the 510 that you can build your coil and dry fire your coil. If you go back and watch that video, I completely put in there, hey, I fucked up. You know, but I took down my original video and re-uploaded it with the proper edits in it to let people know that, hey, look, I fucked up big time. And I gave thanks to the individual that pointed it out to me as well. It's 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 crazy, man. It's if you know you're wrong, you're wrong. Where's your actions lie? What are you gonna do to correct that? You know, and I'm just I'm sick of it right now, guys. To see the division and diversity, uh, the diversity diversification is a must, but the division to say this is how they should have done it all along. You know, and trust me, we ain't got one problem with anybody around the world focusing on the United States vaping crisis right now. 
Nobody has a problem with that. You know why we don't have a problem with that? Because it's not about me. It's not about the next guy, the next guy. It's about the community out there to ensure that this community is around for a long time. I don't care that then the manufacturers are scared out of their fucking minds. What You know who I'm more worried about? I'm more worried about the community being scared out of their fucking minds. The fact that the manufacturers are scared out of their minds, tough shit. Let's worry about our community, you know? Yeah, Deb 22 says she's scared. Hell, I'm scared too. I'm scared for you guys. I'm scared for my future great-great-grandchildren that I won't even know their damn names because I'll be dead and in the ground for 20 damn years to not have this as an option for them. You know, uh, I think everybody out there who's calling the White House and doing their part and calling their, who, their state senators and calling their city managers and mayors and the city managers, man, that's a really big thing. I did not realize how big of a, like the role of a city manager, but city managers are very, very important. Katie Kipling says she's doing that every day. Absolutely. I'm steadily calling the White House. Oh, this, I ain't got nothing better to do. Might as well, hell. My thing is, guys, don't let, when you hear drastic numbers or you see big things, don't let that instill fear in you, man. Like, don't even feed to that, you know? Like, don't even buy into it because do your own research. Like, even if I tell you that, hey, I like this, I may like this, but you may not like this. Do your own research to see if it's something that you're going to like. You may not like it. You know, it's, it's very important that our community thinks for themselves a little bit to say, hey, you know what? That sounds like a damn awful lot of numbers. Let me go double check that real quick. You know, it's I, I, I can't think for you. You have to think for yourself. You know, and anytime you hear a number thrown out, man, those, that's something that can be checked. If they say, well, you know, if I tell you that in the year of 2015, I made $258,000, guess what? You can go try, You can go search that down. You can find that. That's factual information. You can go search that, you know? Or if Ford says they sold 1 million trucks in nine months, you can go search that, you know? Like this, do your, your due diligence yourself. Don't haven't got a word from Texas. Have you got anything? No. Everything in Texas right now, everybody is on the proposals right now, left and right. And the reason why San Antonio is such an important state or city to us is because it's close proximity to the state capital. If San Antonio does something, you can bet your sweet dollar Austin's going to do the same. Will Vapes, Vlogs and Reviews. What's up, Mr. Just Just another day in paradise, man. I'm hanging out with you guys. Come in here a little sideways today, a little just heated, you know, over uh, numbers that were incorrect. Said individuals acknowledged his, his incorrectness on the numbers and, you know, maybe just cross-eyed or like line numbers or something. You know, some people have a problem reading and I get it. That, that's something I completely understand. Uh, but it's very, 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 at this point, it's super critical on the information that is given out because the situation is volatile and words are the catalyst. You understand that? Words are the catalyst to this entire situation, you know? So somebody sees this and goes off and shares it and then shares it again and shares it again. And then people just lose all hope. Like, damn, we're doomed. We're doomed. 
You know, that's it. There's nothing that we can do. No, there's always hope. You know, and and I highly advise those people in this community that if somebody is not interjecting positive vibes and like hope into the community, like really start checking your time with that individual. Because now is not the time for the negative Nancys and the naysayers, man. This is about, hey, guys, we're going to make it through this. We're going to make it through together. You know, understand we'll have some losses along the way, but don't think that we're going to ever forget about those individuals. And once we get to our goal, we'll come back and pick up those individuals, make sure that make sure that they understand that we're in this together. You know, we're all focused on the same goal here. You know, and anybody who's deterring you from that goal and that that end result in a negative way at all, avoid them like the fucking plague because they're they're cancerous to the to the cause. And don't let division do change the goals. You know, a change of location doesn't change mean a change of destination. You know, you may be in the left faction right now and have a mindset to put you in the right faction and know that you're still fighting for the same cause. That, that, that's one of the biggest things to do. You know, make sure that you're on that Twitter heavy. Uh, if you see the like Mike Vape said, man, if you see the president tweet something or he's tagged in a tweet, call him out on it. Hey, we vape, we vote. You know, I vape, I vote. Flavors matter. You know, Como do the same thing. You know, everybody do that. You have to do that. That's imperative. Yes, there you go. Might just do it in there again. Call the White House. I do have a video up calling the White House too, if you need to know how to do it. But it's it's very important that you don't buy into the negative. Folks, you know, there, there's people out there that they really they're going to use this opportunity to catapult themselves forward, like and to put them in a better position, whether it makes our situation look worse than it already is. Or whether they bandwagon on this movement to gain notoriety at the end of it. Just be cautious. If they're not positive all the time and they ain't just out there just instilling it in you guys and reminding you that we have the power to change this, we have the power to make this go our way. And if it, if it were, we are in a war, like to think that we're not in a war, we are in a full fledged war. Anytime there's casualties, I don't consider that anything less than a war. And if we lose, we'll continue to have casualties. There ain't no ifs, ands, buts about it. That's a promise. That, that's something that we have to do as a community is be fully aware that this is not to be taken lightly this is we this is all out war they and we didn't start this war you know they they started this war against us and it's imperative that we follow command from the higher ups you know i'm not a higher up i'll tell you right now i'm not but i can tell you i know how to do my part and stay the fucking course if the higher up say, go tweet this guy. You go tweet that guy. The higher up say, we need to call the action here. We need to call the action here. Uh, hold on. Uh, give me a wrench, he says. Bam. Bam. Done. Um, there's there's people in Kasa. Kasa, Safada, all, they all have their roles here. Nobody can say that none of them are not working. They're all doing their own part in their own factions, you know, like their own missions you know just because i know okay perfect example a lot of people have grandparents that you know fought in world war ii and the whole nine yards but just because they didn't drop the bomb doesn't make them any less important you know it takes an entire army and whether it be the the navy the army the marines the Air Force, you know, it's all combined as one and different good different things, you know, but they, they all specialize in what they're doing. And we have to understand that. Nancy A, I did give him out a wrench. Yeah. It's imperative that we understand that and not to say that anybody's Actions are less more important than the next guys. If they're if they're on the same mission and they're moving the same way, it's all important. And that's what that's to say, like, well, I don't want Yankee vapes to call because Yankee vapes ain't gonna do no good. Well, why are we gonna single out Yankee vapes? Hell, if he's willing to call, he's doing his part. Let him call. Sit. That's what it's about. That's what you gotta do.
No, I don't see a video to sell uh, e-juices, Lou. I don't give it. I don't want it. it why? Uh, just let e-liquid remain what it is. And know, too, guys, that just because you don't see a lot of people like, oh, I'm going to go feed the homeless. Let me grab my camera real quick. You see this, guys? I'm feeding the homeless today. I'm feeding the homeless. That doesn't mean that somebody ain't fed the homeless because they're not all over social media blasting it everywhere of what they've done or they're, you know, asking for them attaboys. You know, like a good deed isn't done for accolades. A good deed is done because it's a good deed. It's what you feel in your heart. It's what you do. You know, there's a lot of things that I've done in the background, not even necessarily just in vaping, but just in general life alone. You don't see me just plastering the damn camera. Hey, look at me. I'm doing this today. Hey, look at me. I bought all these. No, you don't do that. That's not the way that works, man. You do it because it's the right thing to do. It's a good deed. The Maculades and that boy, you can get the fuck on with that. I don't need that. I know that I do a good thing. I know I do good deeds. And that's what puts me to bed at night peacefully. That's the only way I can get any sleep at night peacefully is by knowing that I've done something good that day and helped somebody. Don't ever question those that are that are are doing their part, you know, because Typically, you ever heard that old saying, the guilty dog barks first? Those that are, oh, they're not doing nothing. They're not doing nothing. Shit, turn the mirror around. Are you doing what you're supposed to be doing? Apparently not, because you're more worried about what this individual is doing instead of doing what the fuck you're supposed to be doing. Give me a second. Get a battery. I don't know, man. I just... I see a lot of that, and it, it, it boils my blood for anybody to say that anybody's not doing their part. Fuck, they're doing more than you. And I posted something the other day, guys, and I mean it too. We already know what's been done. You know, for us to share the same old thing in Facebook or share the same old thing on YouTube or Instagram or whatever, man, we are just preaching to the choir. It's just a revolving circle. What we need to do is continue to blow up Twitter, man. Twitter is like the battleground right now. If you want to get you want to be one that just gets up and pops a shot, go over to Twitter. Go over to Twitter, man. Get up there and shoot your shot at the president real quick. Not literally, goddamn. Let me take that back. Shit. Shoot your verbal shot or Twitter shot to the world. You know, you may hit a bullseye and somebody may see it and be like, you know what? I'm going to retweet that. I'm going to retweet that. I'm going to And it's very important, too, that when you see tweets with the same hashtags that you that you post a lot and you have common interest in, retweet that again. And then let somebody else retweet that again. And somebody else retweet that again. Somebody else retweet that again. Shit, because we'll take that over in a heartbeat. Yeah, Yankee and Drew think that shit's funny as fuck. <laughs> Fucking Fed's going to kick the door in any minute now. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm glad I was able to correct myself. Yeah, retweet. Every time you see somebody say something about Donald Trump or a vice president, hell, even your local senator or governor, shit, retweet it. And, you know, so not even don't retweet it. Let me rephrase that. Leave that hashtag. You know, I vape, I vote. You know, adults like flavors too. Vapors' lives matter. <laughs> yes, and then interject those other hashtags that are trending too so that more people see it. That's very, very important. Thank you, on my Buck, man. See, that dude's full of smart, man. He knows what's up when it's time to war hell. That's my thing, guys. Just, just a warning for you guys to say, watch the numbers that are being thrown out there. And if you see somebody that's constantly sitting back there saying, well, I told you so. I knew I knew this day was going to be. I knew this was going to happen like this. I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew. Well, if you knew everything, you'd be a fucking millionaire. You know the lottery numbers, too. 
You know, nobody knows everything. We're all learning here. This is all a learning curve for all of us because this has never been done before. This is like, it's not like we can go back and look at history repeating itself again. It does. It's not. It's not. It doesn't work that way because this is a whole new era, a whole new thing, and this is where technology is coming into our favor because we can socialize and we can meet up a lot with a lot of people, and we can show our numbers. And yes, the Twitter and all that is good, and so is the Instagram, and so is the Facebook. If you, if you, that's what makes you feel good, do it. But one thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get off the damn phone. You're going to have to get out in person and speak to people in person because people relate with you better than they do your social media posts. Because I can see something that says pray for me, and honestly, I'll forget to pray for him. I'll tell him I'm going to pray for him and forget to pray for him. You know, so, and now if I see you in person and I say it, we're going to shake on it, then, hey, I'm going to do what I say, you know. OB, I don't talk to people. I don't pray. Well, then talk to yourself. Shit, talk to yourself loud enough. And maybe somebody else will hear you, OB, since you don't talk to nobody. There's your solution to your problem. <laughs> Just talk really, really fucking loud to yourself so somebody else will hear you. Dev says, she's, uh, Dev22 says, going to Trenton tomorrow. Go to Trenton tomorrow to be heard. Respect that. You know, make sure your voice is heard. And talk to everybody you pass on the way to Trenton. And when you leave Trenton, talk to everybody you pass on the way back from Trenton. No, vaping is not going to be banned. You know why? Because we've got a community that is second to none. <laughs> a, a community that refuses to lose. You know, we we don't we don't accept losses. We don't accept defeat. You know, all the fake news is starting to hurt us in Australia too. Absolutely. Well. Um, good news, good news, good news. What do I got good news wise? Got some stuff for review should be coming in today. Really excited to see that. If you don't know the Ohana from Heavy Metal Vapes and Johnny Drips, really looking forward to putting my hands on that beast. Uh, hear a lot of good things about it. All right. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, thesis. He has his barrage RDA coming in. Any info on your new product? I've seen a teaser. Yeah, we got a few of them coming. I'm probably thinking it's going to be UK Expo release. Maybe, possibly, somewhere around there. <laughs> yeah, I need to grab the intake dual. Man, I've never even had the intake single. I will have to pick up both and compare them. What I, what I really need to do is I need to sit down and Mike Bay is probably still in there. If not, I don't care. It doesn't matter. But I need to have like a a Mike Vapes block because I have a bunch of Mike Vapes, the Rebirth, uh, the Recurve, single and dual, and just do like a – a complete overview of everything he's done thus far that I can get my hands on. Oh, I shipped you an intake to that. Maybe what's coming in the mail today. I don't know. <laughs> I got shit coming in the mail. I'm not even sure about what's coming. I'm pretty sure the Ohana should be coming. That one's pretty good. I'm, I'm really proud of Johnny and heavy, you know, cause Johnny, that's like his after the warrior deal, which I think is a highly underrated RDA. You know, it's a very, very good, 
RDA for what it is, those style of vapors that like that style of vaping, it's a solid banger, you know, and even with the little insert to get it down to single coil, it, it's dope. But to see him and Heavy go off and do something together, you know, that shows growth in Johnny and that shows growth in Heavy. And I'm ecstatic for both of them and wish them nothing the best, nothing but the best. And Thesis, his barrage, what I'm really excited about that is because I know he's been working on, he's been wanting that for a long ass time. And to finally see it come to light and fruition, man, it's, you have to sit back and say, man, congratulations. I, I, I hope that fucker sells off the charts because it's something he's wanted for a long time. It's something he's poured his heart into. And, you know, some of us have been afforded opportunities where we know we release something and it sells like wildfire. And then we release something else again and it sells really, really good as well, you know, and going on my third right now, you know, it's like, I know it's probably not going to do the numbers that the others done, but it was done for a reason. You know, I have a reason behind why I wanted it done, and I'm very passionate about that. We'll see what comes of it. But those individuals right now, Mike on the intake duel, now a lot of reviewer products is coming out, you know, and I like that a lot. And even in, even in the time that we're in right now, we need those products to continue to come out and continue to excite the community and to get away from that despair and that, oh, sagging your head type shit. You know, we need that that positive vibes and energy in the industry and, you know, to constantly have new things coming in, especially from a designer standpoint, uh, influencer standpoint, reviewer standpoint, that's imperative because you guys all tune in and watch. So if y'all see new stuff coming out, even though, you know, we're in the war, the perception is, Hey, we're going to make this, we're going to be all right. Or it instills hope. It's like, man, Mike base want to release that if he didn't think we were going to be around or Mr. Just right. Want to do that. Or Brian want to come up with that or, you know, Heavy wouldn't do that, or Rip Trippers wouldn't do that, or Grim wouldn't do this or that, or Fagan wouldn't release that if they thought this industry wasn't going to be around longer. You know, so it instills hope in you guys and the community when those products continue to release. And that's what I've been trying to relay to China this week. And even this morning, man, I woke up to like six messages from different contacts. Like, oh, vaping's going to be gone. And I said, no, it's not. I said, you have to have hope. You know, you got to keep them products coming in, keep them rolling in, because that instills hope in the individuals of the community, you know, because that, that when the, when these companies say, well, we're not going to be releasing any products, we're not, they get scared. That's just, a, it's a trickle down effect. And the reference I used to that was when you were a child, you know, your mother and dad didn't always have just greatest of times. There was times where, you know, things were tight and bills were getting, you know, really hunkering down on them. There was maybe been a threat of, you know, maybe not having any groceries in the refrigerator, but their job was to make sure you didn't see that, you know, they, they sit down and they had lunch and they cut up and played with you and brushed your teeth and read your books and prayed with you so that you never seen the struggle, the, the, the troubles, you know, and that's the, the, the companies have to do that. The industry has to do that from China and even U S manufacturers has to do that to continue to release products to comfort the community. Yeah, Sebastian, damn good point. No offense to reviewers who are not in the mood to try, but to keep posting reviews, at least give the people something that might distract them from the bad news enough to give them a break and relax. You damn skippy, my friend. Sebastian, thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. He's damn right. We have to have to stay doing that and showing new products and showing light on it. Maybe not, maybe not even new products, maybe the old products that we like, you know, so that people get that. We have to contend that we won't. People to continue doing business as usual. That goes the same for China, the consumers. We want you to continue to do business as usual. If you know you order something and you have an opportunity to get it from like a New Jersey shop or New York shop, man, you could go get it from them shops right now because they really need the support. You know, and what that is, it's uh, the oil field, for example, is always a boom or bust industry. You're either booming or you're busting. And I, I, they told me that the very first day I went in that industry. And he says, whenever you're booming, manage your finances correctly enough to sustain the bust. And when it booms back up again, if you're still around, you'll get the boom again. But if you don't piss off all your money that you made, you won't be around for the next boom because you busted when it busted again. And so we need to kick back to those shops. I know Mike has a good friend up there that has a shop. I don't know if he has an online sales or not, his buddy. But if you're in that region, you need to go check those guys out. And 
make sure that you uh, are spending your, your funds with them. If there's a way that you know you can get place orders to a certain state that's about to have to close up shop, do that, you know, and I know it's very tempting. We all want better deals. We all want to get the best bang for our buck. Leave a note in your order or something. Hey, man, uh, I know I bought three bottles. Keep a bottle and pay it forward to somebody else. Sell it, make it again. That's not hard to do. Most orders you place give you a note section where you can leave a note. Leave that note in there. No online, he says. All right. Well, I don't know the name of the shop, but I know he's talked about it before. Go watch back and watch all his videos. He's talked about the gentleman before. But if you're in that region area, go pick them up from him. But if you're online ordering and from a state where you're afraid that that, that shop's going to go out of business or not going to be around for a bit, man, drop a note in your order that says, hey, look, I paid for six bottles. Keep three of those bottles or two of those bottles and pay them forward or sell them again far as I give a damn, sell them again so that somebody else or that they can get the funds to help them out a little bit, you know? Hell, I've done it before where I ordered something and it was like, hey, just pay it forward to the next guy. It's like the pay it forward mentality at the drive-thru. When you drive up to the drive-thru and, you know, somebody's already bought your cup of coffee that morning and you buy the guy's coffee behind you and you buy the next guy's coffee behind you, it's kind of like that mindset. But instead of the guy behind you getting it, the shop owner is going to keep that money, that little bit of change, because that little bit of change is going to be what puts food on their table for their family. You know, that's something that's always really get, really tore me up going into meetings where we knew people were going to get laid off or lose their jobs was that I get to go home to my family and we get to break bread, no problem. But knowing some of the best people in the industry and in the community we're going home to their families to tell them that, hey, we got to find a new way to break bread, baby. You know, if you have children, if you have kids, look at them and imagine how you'd have to feel letting them know that you got to find a new way to provide for them. And that's the magnitude of this situation. Livelihoods are being taken from people and they won't say it ain't war. Hell, it is war. And to think otherwise is foolish. Well, I've kept you guys for about 45 minutes. More of the story is watch the numbers when people are throwing them out there. Question the source. You know, if they've done shady shit or done, have they been questionable in their actions, you got to see why people are doing what they're doing. Like, you know, granted, we all we need all the help we can get, but you can do your part to avoid the cancerous cells in this community to say, you know what? Well, I, I watched, I heard you, but I'm not going to repost that. I'm not going to share that. I'm going to continue about what I've been doing. You know, give back to the shop owners that you're ordering from. Don't just take a, advantage of these online sales and be greedy about it. I understand money's tight for everybody, but you have to understand how it feels for that shop owner to know that this is their livelihood going out forever. You know, and you want to make sure that they're doing good too. You know, give them a little something on top. Gregory Brown, Mr. Just Right One, we vets are more pissed. Freedom isn't free. Freedom has never been free, man. That's unfortunate and it's sad. Um, I, I really don't believe that we're free right now. You know, I, I've said this many times over and I stand by my guns on this, that we haven't been in the United States in a very long time. This action that's being taken against vapors right now is making us united again. We are uniting again as one major numbers for one goal in mind, you know, and that that's very, very important. And to, to recognize that and understand the magnitude of what we're doing now, you guys, we're making history. You guys are making history out there. Now I'm going to say we, I'm saying you guys are making history out there. You know, if they're for the president to get emails say, man, look, these some bitches are blowing up our phone left and right, man. Maybe the phone won't stop ringing, you know? Will vape vlogs? That that's if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. But that's not what we want, you know. We don't want that, you know. To and to for people to say that it's like, well, I can still do it myself and buy do it, mixing kits on my own and make my own, and I'm gonna be okay. 
Well, man, if they take us over on this, you don't think that they're going to come for nicotine next? They will. But we're not going to worry about all that. We're not even thinking about all that because what we're going to do is we're going to continue to pound the numbers on our phones, call on the White House, emails. I said it the other day, guys, on my live on Friday or Friday night, mailing the White House. Man, that is very, very important to mail the White House. Matter of fact, hold on. I'm about to do something right now. I'm going to get. Uh, what did I do? Get over here. We all know it's what, 5200 Pennsylvania Avenue or something like 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. But let me do this here. Let me. Uh, bam. Right there. Write them right there. I don't care if you write one page in big, bold magic marker, your name, your date of birth or whatever, and I vape, I vote. Flavored e-liquid saved my life. You know, because for all those letters to go to the White House and be in that office, man, somebody's going to recognize that. And be like, damn, we got a lot of paper here. Where do all these letters come from? You know, we have to keep that up. Yeah, it's heartbreaking. You know, it's heartbreaking to see that. And you know what's heartbreaking? The Texas hasn't even had a official ban going to play yet. But we're the, the effects are being felt far and wide. You know, it's like when you throw a rock in the wand in the pond and the ripples go for forever. You know, that the same thing is happening. You know, whenever those every time a state imposes a flavor ban, that ripples felt all the way out. So we have to do our part. Put up the sand barriers to say, okay, we know it's happened. We hate that it's happened. We're going to do what we can to help you and make sure you guys are good. We're not going to forsake anybody. You know, if anybody resides in those states and needs something, hell, you know who to hit. Hell, we'll get you taken care of. There ain't no question about that. But we can't let it happen in other states. You know, and if it just if it's happened in your state. You don't want to see it happen to somebody else. So when you see those call to actions come, when you sign up with the Kassai and you see the call to actions to blow up those numbers, start calling them. Even though it's our, it may not benefit you and your state at that time, make sure there's another state available. Because if another state falls, another one falls, another one falls, it's going to be like dominoes, and eventually you won't have nobody to help you. So it's very, very important that we take care of others as well. Even though we've been done dirty or done wrong, it's imperative that we still do the right thing. You know, to help somebody else, so, so they don't have to see the same things that we've done. You know, and it's it's called being a good human. You know, like I don't want you to go, hey man, I want to do that. Don't stick a don't stick that fork in that light socket. It's gonna hurt. You know, because I've already done it. <laughs> Thank y'all for tuning in. I greatly appreciate you being here today. Uh, again. Watch the numbers. Watch the cancerous cells in this community. Uh, let them continue doing what they do and pushing their drive. Uh, do your own research. That's imperative. Do your own research. Like go check things, fact checks. You know, misinformation being spread is just as bad as makes you know when you spread bad information. That makes you no different than all the news media outlets across the states that are only focusing on one part of the story and not the full thing. That's It makes them no different. So watch that. Watch that heavily right now. Stay the course. Call the White House. Write the White House. Call your senator, your mayor. All, Google is your best friend. If you like being on the computer all day or on your smartphone, Google. Use it to something that will teach you something, that will help you with something. Use it to your advantage. You know? And, uh, Stay the course. Stay positive. Guys, I know we're going to be okay. I know we're going to make it through this. I know we're going to come out victorious. 
I'm not going to sell false sense of hope and tell you we won't have casualties. We absolutely we will. Remember, we are in a full blown war, and if somebody thinks otherwise, they're dead ass wrong, because there's casualties involved, and if there's casualties involved. To me, that's war, my friend. I'm going to do what I always do at this time, guys, and that's going to be remind you that if at any given point in time you have ever felt like you are not a somebody, I want you to know that you are a somebody in somebody's eyes, and that somebody is me. I absolutely love each and every one of you out there. Stay focused. Stay blessed. Mr. Just Right One is checking in and checking out at the same damn time. I'm out.